Before I end this video, I wanted to continue a tradition I got caught up in and extend a challenge to make a video to a fellow YouTuber. Which YouTuber? I have to go with Soft Rooting the West. And I would like to see the Rooted Progress take this on. Now we challenge DTP. And I'll be sending on the challenge to Mitre at Ignition Off Road. Well, this video is long overdue, but I do accept the challenge. Hi, I'm Mitre from Ignition Off Road. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you my top five free or very cheap modifications for your off-road Subaru. Stay tuned for more. Now, as you've seen, I've been challenged to the five free slash cheap Subaru mods challenge. Now, I've looked through the list of what all the others have done previously before me, and I've actually come up with a list that's not only Subaru specific, but specific to the off-road application. So without further ado, let's jump into my five free slash cheap off-road Subaru mods. So the first modification I have in mind is LED lighting. Now, if you jump online and you search LED light bulbs, you could probably find some cheap LED wedge light for only a few dollars on places like eBay or Amazon. And these work absolutely fantastic because you can use these in applications like your interior lights, you can use them for your license plate lights, and I've even used them on the Parker lights on my SG Forester. Now, LED lights are a fantastic option. Not only are they cheap, but also they are more efficient than the standard halogen globes the Subaru would have come with from the factory, and they also tend to last a lot longer. Now, I note with cheap LED bulbs, sometimes cheap bulbs do tend to blow fuses, so if you wanna make sure that you are getting a proper set, try to look for the error-free LED bulbs. While they are a little bit more expensive, they tend to be more reliable and don't seem to blow the fuses, which is fantastic. So number two on that list, we have sway bar removal. So you can simply crawl under your car, unbolt those old clunky sway bars, pull them out. Not only have you got the weight savings, but you're also going to increase your articulation off road. Now, because removing the sway bars increases your articulation off road, this also means that when you take your fully sick Subaru mall crawler out, you can park it up on that curb and really get that thing flexing. So your Subi is gonna look super tough. Now in a lot of countries, it's actually illegal to remove your sway bars because they actually have a negative effect on the handling of your vehicle. Now when you remove those anti-roll bars slash sway bars, you're actually gonna get a lot more body roll in the corners, so you can expect worse handling when you perform this mod. Now I have run my previous Forester without sway bars. I did find it actually flexed up surprisingly well off-road, and it really gave me an extra bit of articulation, which definitely helped get a little bit of traction in really uneven circumstances. Now this does obviously affect your handling. I found when you go into corners, it does give a little bit more body roll. However, I do find with the Subaru and the Boxer engine being a very low center of gravity, I found the handling was still fairly sufficient for general road use. But if you are gonna do this mod, please check out your local road rules and regulations and um, you might find that doing this is actually not legal in your state or country. So consider that before performing the mod. Okay, so number three on the list is using a street sign as a sump guard. Now I've recently completed this mod to my old Forester. Essentially, when I was testing the new driveline I put in, I managed to put a nice big dent right into the sump of my engine because the four inch lift kit I installed did not work in conjunction with the super extreme sump guard I had, leaving my engine completely exposed to the element. Now, using an old street sign is a really cheap way to get some protection underneath the engine. Now, I managed to find mine at a junkyard. I definitely don't recommend just stealing these off the street. But essentially, if you can get hold of an old street sign or if you can get hold of an old sheet of metal, they're quite simple to cut up and bolt underneath. There was essentially four holes I had to allocate to bolt to the underside of the vehicle. And I was able to cut up the street sign with an angle grinder very easily. 
All right, so moving on to modification number four. Now this one I guess is technically not a modification and it's more of a maintenance thing. And that is cleaning your air filter. Now you might be thinking, what's cleaning an air filter got to do with five free off-road Subaru mods? Now if you put it this way, if you're driving in convoy with your local mountain roof group or just any of your buddies, and it's particularly a dry day, you're out in the desert, there's gonna be a lot of dust that's gonna make it into the intake and into your filter. That means your filter is gonna clog up with dirt and the engine isn't going to run quite as well. Now what I like to do when I'm on big trips is every morning when we pack up camp, I like to do a quick check over the vehicle. And one of those is to pull the air filter out and give it a bit of a clean. Now you can either give it a bit of a tap and that'll knock some of the dust out, or if you do have a compressor handy, you can use that compressor to blow out the dust. Now doing this not only will improve the longevity of the engine because you don't want to dust the internals of the engine, but it'll also free up that filter, which means more airflow and more power. So for only a few minutes in the morning, this will give you great reassurance that your car is running healthy and reliable and not to mention it's completely free. Okay, so my fifth mod on the five free slash cheap mods list is deflating your tires. Now I know technically you're not actually adding a modification to the vehicle, but you are altering the dynamics of the vehicle. So essentially when you're deflating your tires in an off-road application, it's gonna do a few things for you. So the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna make the vehicle a lot more comfortable when you're driving over bumps because those tires aren't as inflated, it has a lot more of a cushioning effect. Secondly, what it's gonna do is it's gonna bag out those tires and actually give you a little bit more surface area, which directly translates to more traction off-road. Now, when I'm off-roading personally, I tend to drop the tire pressures down to about 20 PSI in my Subaru Forester when I'm doing rocky or muddy trails. And when I'm driving in really soft sand, I'll lower it down to about 15 PSI like I did on the border track trip. Now this is another fantastic mod because it does increase the traction and you will see a lot of people that haven't lowered the tire pressures off road and they'll be the ones getting stuck whereas you just go straight through an obstacle. And there's nothing better than a free mod that makes you achieve that. So these are my five free slash cheap off-road Subaru mods. Leave a comment, what did you think below? And obviously I'm gonna have to pass on this challenge to someone else. So you've probably already guessed who it's gonna be, but I'm nominate Jordan from AL NSN Overland to take on this challenge. And I wanna see what you have for your five free slash cheap Subaru mods. All right, that's all from me today. Remember to check out my Fan Beach account to support this channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. See ya.